Greyhawk 30X finally got here to the dealership here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, not for lack of trying. Uh, we've just had these things pre-sold and this is the first one that ever managed to actually get into our live inventory stock. Um, if at any point you like what you see or you'd like to learn more about it, such as price tags or tank capacities or specs, I leave you folks on YouTube a link in the video description that says check for price and availability. It'll show you if we have it in stock, how it is built, because it could be different from what you see here, and obviously what we're asking. We're a very fair place and we're very transparent and easy to work with. Um, this is 32 and a half feet of awesome fun. This is a great floor plan. I've always been a sucker for these big full wall mega slides because when they're open, the thing just feels enormous inside. Um, we obviously painted this one. We put the full body paint on here. Not necessarily every 30X we have will be this one. Please remember that. Well, it seems to trip people up. It's just like a car commercial. When you see a car in the commercial, it's not necessarily the car at the dealership. Um, the uh, full body paint here, uh, that is uh, a type of paint called Sickens paint, which may not mean anything to you, but long story short, it's the one and only paint Jayco uses. They use this on everything from their little motor homes to their big motor homes. It's a very, very good product that bonds to nearly anything. And normally I would have preferred to have this a little cleaner for you, but this is actually really interesting because there is a little bit of just uh, shipping dust on the hood. You can clearly see the line here where there's like the diamond shield protectant on the front. That little uh, anti-chip stone guard. That's another nice thing with the full body paint is it will improve your weather resistance uh, because, you know, it's just not going to chalk like a normal fiberglass will necessarily. Uh, and the uh, if you watch my photo tour, you'll see when I, I take a picture of this one-piece fiberglass roof because this has class A uh, roof construction in a class C coach. That's an area where one of the many areas this is absolutely outstanding. They actually wrap that paint up about six inches up over the roof line there uh, just to give it a, a full clean look so you never have a visual break point. Um, I believe every coach out there is the best for a different reason. What I want to focus on are the areas where this product is outstanding. And if you feel like those are valid reasons for you to give us a call, then do so. And I don't care where you live. We make deals happen. And this thing's on wheels and it can get between here and there. That's kind of what it's built for. So uh, first thing I like to talk about with any Jayco is the fact that they just have a warranty that is unmatched in the marketplace. They have double the warranty of anybody else. Yeah, This has a, a, a two-year um 24,000 mile warranty on it, which the, the 24,000 miles part of that warranty is kind of laughable. Uh, we're on the uh, the Ford E450 chassis here, so you get Ford's chassis and uh, like power and drivetrain warranties included in there as well. We've got the full details for you there. Um, generally speaking, Jayco's hold 6 to 8% more resale value. You know, this is a significant investment. It's good to know that more of it is there for you when you're done. Uh, a big thing too is, uh, you'll hear me talk about this a lot, is their whole J-Ride Plus package. This is a, uh, a very comprehensive bundle of things that all goes uh, into this. Uh, they have achieved, and I, I do believe this because I've driven a lot of different coaches um, between test drives and all sorts of things. These are the quietest riding, best handling classes on the market, period. That's a very aggressive, bold statement, but I can back it up. They uh, have Bilstein shocks up front, and the nice part about those is they have the same, the first time you hit a bump, it'll have the exact same compression ratios as the last time you hit a bump on a thousand mile journey. Normal tube in tube, uh, dual sleeve uh, design shocks don't have that. You get cavitation and uh, loss of pressure in the oil cylinder and it doesn't work as well. You also see the, uh, the, the one piece sleeve over nose cap on here. I had someone, uh, they were just looking at the outside, they said, yeah, but if this cap ever falls off, then the whole top of my RV is exposed, and I left and took them inside, and the whole wall does extend up into this. They sleeve this cap over top of it for an extra layer of protection, and then they move the seam down here. See, when the seams are on the corners, that's a high stress point. That's just, it's not if, but when, you're going to have a leak. When I take in a used Class C, I ask where the leak was in the overhead cab. But I don't have that problem here because they don't have that problem here. Um, if you look real close, you may also notice that uh, right there, you can see that line. That diamond shield stone protectant, they wrap this whole front post with that stuff too. So that you just, you don't have the nicks and the chips out of your paint going on here. We've got our Onan 4000 generator, park friendly, quiet running. Gives the ability to take this thing anywhere, everywhere, anytime you please, um, and that is capable of running anything we have going on in here. And I, this is a, that that's stellar. 
That is that mirror-like reflectivity on that full body paint is just something to behold. Um, this has uh, the new Generation 3 tankless water heater system. By the way, I'm sorry, if you, you want to see what this thing looks like with the slide closed, please skip ahead to the end of the video or just, you know, wait as we go through the tour. I will run this slide closed so you can see what it looks like in the travel position. So this has a, uh, a tankless water heater system, but it's the new Generation 3, which is the only one I've ever liked. I never liked the early generation tankless water heaters for two reasons. One, I never felt like I could control the hot water. And uh, two, you could never just mix in a little bit of cold water like you do at your house. This is the first one where you can do that. This will operate exactly, essentially, as far as you can determine as a user, it will function and feel exactly like a household water heater system. And it's the only one that has this easy to read digital uh, like um, control panel. You can look at it, you can see the number that you're setting your water heat to, bump it up, bump it down, super simple and easy. They've just never been that way before. This is nice. Now, this is a completely unrivaled best-in-class feature here. The Greyhawk is the only uh, Class C here. Your Jayco Class Cs are the only ones that have a true 7,500-pound tow rating. Now, if you shop around, you're going to see other brands are going to claim 7,500-pound tow rating. So what am I barking on about? The difference here is that this has a uh, an actual 750-pound tongue weight and 7,500 pound tow rating. They had their, the whole hitching system they redesigned a couple years ago. They're the only ones that do this. Anyone else, if you read the fine print, they have a 5,000 pound rated hitch, but if you start using an external weight distribution system, you may be able to upgrade that to 7,500. Uh, 7, These are the only guys out of the pocket that have it done right. Um, the, I talked about, well, the wrap over roof line, the one piece fiberglass roof I mentioned previously, but I wanna revisit that because it's a big deal. Um, it's it's got a class a roof construction this if you start looking at feature versus feature this is actually more similar to a jayco precept class a the upper level jayco class a than than other things that's what's funny is this is a class uh, a motorhome in every respect with the exception of the cab that's the only area this is different um, you do have a little outside grill quick connect over here right next to your awning so you can do some outside grill and of course there's uh, you know LED lighting on that awning that's just given stuff. Um, the uh, you know keyless door pads really nice if you're going to go like uh, kayaking or something like that you don't want to risk losing your keys no problem. Now look at this big giant window right in the entry door right here. We can't really see inside even though the lights are on. That tent really gives you privacy and it keeps it cooler but we can see out all day long. It's, uh, it's kind of like almost like a, a one-way mirror in that respect. So we've got a double step, uh, well, yeah, a, a double stage power step and a full wall mega slide. Everything in this is just big, bad, and awesome. Stepping inside here. I do also want to take a moment to point out that this does have a full leveling system. Um, I've had people argue uh, on both sides of the fence stating to me that the, uh, the mechanism and the leveling system used on this is actually functionally superior to that of the um, the Integra series, uh, you know, Class A diesel, diesel pushers that Jayco owns. Um, that's subjective. I'll let, I'll let you determine that. But long story short, it's it's all hydraulic. It's not spring-loaded. So you have power up, power down. You're not wor uh, worried about a spring recoil. This is another area that these are absolutely best in class. Every Jayco uh, motorhome overhead sleeper is 750 pound rated. I have seen some as low as uh, like 250 or something like that, where maybe you can toss a kid up there. But two adults, two adults can sleep up here. It is purposely overbuilt uh, with the idea of long-term ownership and longevity. Now up here, uh, they gave me a couple little snaps, which give this a very easy place to see that this has a class A style soft touch ceiling liner. That drowns the noise out. I don't know how much wind noise or highway noise you were picking up outside. Um, I don't know what the camera was getting there, but it's dead silent in here. If I stop talking, it's dead silent. Even though when I stop talking, that's a very rare thing. My poor wife, I feel badly for her. But hey, you know, she chose this. But the good news is she's only stuck with me until death do us part. So obviously we've got the overhead bunk going here for extra sleeping, or you could just use it for cargo type space. Um, 
the uh, TV is actually on a, a power extension here, which is nice, rather than just a, a manual twist crank. What I like about that is it tends to be more guaranteed secure in transit, because this is a rolling earthquake going down the road, and a lot of these uh, swing-out TVs have a manual tension tightener, like a knob that you tighten down. Well, if the kids bump that, or they don't get it real tight, and that thing starts smacking around in transit, you're not going to be a real happy camper. Although... I don't want to insult this and call this camping. Um, up here, let's look at the cab real quick. The uh, This is one of the differences between the Greyhawks and the Redhawks. There's a lot of cab differences up here. Uh, the Redhawks still have the Ford factory seats. The Greyhawks have fully uh, exchanged, upgraded seats. Very similar in a lot of ways to your Class A buses. You got your six-way power captain seat, all padded, all leather. Very, very plush, nice stuff. When we get up here, you may notice we've got heated power side mirrors. You got your little controls right there. So you have easy controls of that. Now here's another thing. Standard on your Greyhawks are your side turning cameras. If uh, you're sitting down here in the driver's seat and you flip on your left blinker, your uh, entertainment center down here, you know, you're, you're probably expecting that to be your backup camera. And of course it is. But when you flip your left blinker on, that you're going to have a, a view, a camera view of your blind spot over here. So you just, you don't have those scary blind spot concerns. Um, this is all synced up if you want to plug your phone into it for GPS purposes or entertainment or any of that. All that's naturally here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about that because that's not an uncommon feature. I want to focus on where this thing is absolutely outstanding. And by the way, something I want to point out, I guess I've failed to mention this in the past. You've got uh, your whole curtain set up. You can close off this cab area here for privacy sake. So let me back up. We got two seat belts there, two seat belts there, two seat belts there, seat belts there. This can seat belt eight people. That's terribly impressive. There, that's just not common. Now here's another thing with Jayco. Ultra safety oriented in their uh, Class C's here. Um, anywhere that you have a seatbelt, it exceeds minimum required federal regulations by at least 10%. That's a big deal. That's a big deal, guys. They take on so much liability by doing this, and it's just not a problem. It is just not a problem because they are so overbuilt again in that regard. So this can fold down into a sleeper if need be. This is a dream dinette, uh, which is a, a term I don't really see used much anymore. Maybe I'm getting old? I mean... That's unfortunate. I'm, what, 33? How old am I? 33? 4? Whatever I am. I'm in my early mid-30s. I can't, I seriously don't know. I gotta do the math. <laughs> anyway, um, they used to call this the dream dinette. It just pushes down, and obviously it'll go down below those cushions when you're actually using it. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. It can lock in place, and then you can lift it right back up. It's strut-assisted. You can lock it in place again so it stays there. Oh, here we go. I should have thought about this sooner. This is an explanation of your J-Ride package. You need to start looking some of this stuff up. On your front uh, um, wheels here, you know, your, uh, your steer tires, you've got Bilstein shocks. These are high performance, like race car suspension series things here. Helwig helper springs on your rear t uh, dual axle so that you have um, that extra shock absorption. Now where the chassis meets the coach, they have these uh, isolation mounts. What that does is all that uh, violent energy transferred up from the road in transit that your suspension doesn't soak up, this will help absorb. They hate it when I call these hockey pucks, but that's exactly what it looks like. Now, their computer balanced drive shaft system is something they have more ride do. And I tell you, if you ever see the word more ride on something, it's absolutely the very best at anything they do. They do not do anything uh, even tied with anyone else. They're so far above and beyond, it's not funny. So, when this chassis comes in from Ford, they actually have to cut it in half and then put a middle section in. Well, that means they have to relink the drivetrain. They had to actually split that. Well, most brands will go through and they'll balance this section, then this one, then this one. And Jayco does that. But then they reassemble it and then they balance the whole system on a rotation again. Because just because this piece and this piece are balanced doesn't mean the system is. That's an extra step Jayco goes to so that when you're going down the road, your wheel doesn't have this going on with it and you're not exhausted. Now, they also add an additional stabilizer bar. Well, they don't. They take off the Ford factory stabilizer bar and they put one on that is 50% uh, uh, thicker. Now, the way the math works out on this is it's 66% more stable. That means you're not going to get the, the, the tail of this thing fishtailing. It's not going to have the hard, hard bounces. It keeps this thing going the way it's supposed to. Big windows, nice skylight, big windows, front windshield. We've got light all over the place. And this thing does not, it's like someone's going to say, oh, well, it's only one slide. No, it's a m -m -m mega slide. This thing is 
huge. When I turn around, you actually get to see more of it. Easy thing to miss, and man, am I guilty about forgetting to talk about this, is the AC thing here. So, of course, this has a normal furnace and all that, but uh, this 15,000 BTU air also has a heat pump built into it, so you have electric or gas heat. Very handy if you don't want to burn up all your resources. Uh, these also have a 7-foot interior, which I love. As a taller person, I love the fact that I can stand in the shower, this thing. I can, I mean, it's very comfortable in here. It's just so much more comfortable than so many things. Big windows, and actually, I, I had some really wicked lighting today, so that's not been very useful. Oh, carpetless. I totally forgot about that. The, the power gear slide system they're using here is an above floor slide out, but they gave it the look of a flush floor. What that accomplished, though, is without it actually having to, to skid down and be a uh, floor flush slide, is they got to make this thing completely carpetless. Sweep it up, swiffer it out. She's shiny, slick, and smooth, and clean. It's easy. Another nice thing, too, is they, they didn't cut corners. They made sure that all the storage was very easy to get to in here. Um, let's see. Let's look at our kitchen facilities a little bit. Got a full-size residential microwave over here, uh, which, I mean, very large. If, if you're going to be on the road and cooking big meals, you're perfect to do that. Now, with the kitchen in the slide, they're actually able to make the countertops about six, eight inches deeper, and I can tell because of this huge chunk of real estate behind the stove back here. Stove tops are standardized. These things are the same size in just about everything. So, if you see extra space behind it, you know it's an extra deep counter. Now, that doesn't seem impressive there, although that is a perfect little spot for a coffee maker or a toaster back there, but that means that we have all this extra prep space and everything up here as well. What I like is you can be here at the sink and have your little, like, sink kitchen stuff back there for you. That's a nice touch. You need extra prep, uh, prep space, alakazam, there she is. It's there when you need it, it's gone when you don't. And we've got three full extension drawers there, three full extension drawers there, three more over there, a pair of big drawers down here. You've got excellent kitchen space in this floor plan. That is one of my favorite parts about it, is it's not just a big living room, it's got huge storage capacity as well. Now, I would love... I mean, I would love it for you folks on YouTube. Give me some feedback on the refrigerator setup over here. Normally, this comes with the large two-door refrigerator and then a pantry beside it. It just felt like with all the kitchen space you have here and like a big slide like this, everything in this RV is big, but the, the fridge felt small by comparison. So we went with the full four-door gas electric fridge freezer which still leaves a, a a thin pantry on the side you still leaves your coat closet over here i'd love some feedback as to do you guys prefer the bigger four-door fridge do you prefer the two-door fridge i i'd really like people to chime in on that although this a coat closet right by the door i'm always a sucker for that it, i i it's just a pet peeve when i get in and out of these things there in the spring and the fall there's just nowhere to hang a jacket it blows me away with a price tag like this you gotta have a place just to hang a jacket and remember that big window? If you're worried about privacy, no worries. We've got a full roll-on uh, shade here, just easy up, easy down, and it, it's full out of the way when you're done with it. I also like the fact that they're very aggressive with their power outlets here and there and everywhere, which that one is perfect for this bunk over here. Uh, let's see, moving on back. We've got uh, uh, an interesting walk-through middle bathroom because half of the bathroom is actually part of the slide-out, if you notice, because the, the, even the bed... This is in the slide out, though. The slide goes all the way up to that dinette. From dinette to bed is pure slide, guys. Um, what this creates, though, because just like the kitchen, that meant that they had extra countertop space to work with. If they have extra counter space, that means that they have extra room for drawers, extra room for cabinets, extra room for everything. It's a great setup. And uh, because the, uh, you know, half of the bathroom was over here pushed out of the way, it meant that they had more room for a little bit bigger shower facility in here, which is just, it, that extra couple inches really matters when you're a bigger person. Uh, back here, we've got our uh, queen bed, and it's it's interesting because it's in the slide in an in, in interesting full wall configuration, but it is a, a full walk around bed. Now, um, I even have all these drawers open here. You can have all the drawers open and not interfere with the bed. It's just easy to get to everything in here. Four big dresser drawers in the, in the bedroom. We have these his and hers monster closets on both sides of your entertainment center. Um, that cross breeze window right here, I think that was so smart. That's everything in this floor plan to get air flowing. Um, also, back here in the bedroom, you do have one of the big, I don't know, Max Air Creative Breeze, whatever words you want to apply, the big fan for big airflow. And, uh, you know, little hidden storage behind the TV is there when you need it, if you need it. Um, it's kind of a neat little safe, I guess, if, uh, you know, for just 
it's out of sight, out of mind storage, which is a nice little thing. I should also really open some of this up so that you get a, an idea for the, the depth and the scale of how big the cabinets are just built around the bed slide. They've done a great job of that. And this little alcove over here for you folks who maybe have a CPAP machine or you just want a phone charger or something, that's perfect. They they nailed everything in this floor plan. They did a great job of it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close her up. I'm going to run the slides closed. You got to make sure you close everything. It's a really good idea, by the way. Um, anytime uh, you, you have any RV with a slide out, I don't care if it's a motorhome, a towable, my recommendation is have a little checklist by the control panel. You know, like, um, you know, chairs put away, antenna down, slides closed, drawers closed, stuff like that. Make sure you're not going to crush anything. This floor plan, thankfully, is fairly crush proof. There's not a whole lot of things that can interfere with one another. I think we're good. What's also nice, too, is you just have the one slide. Oh, tank heaters. Yeah, I'm... Jeez. I'm glad I looked up here. This also has tank heaters for folks going to be doing some inclement RVing or just driving through cold temperatures. Another nice thing, too, is this slide moves pretty quick. And we're done. We're already done. So this is what it looks like going down the road. And this is what I mean by your adventure in an RV, in a, in a motorhome, rather, begins the moment you turn the key. Whereas with, like, a travel trailer, which is how I tend to camp, there is a difference. The fun doesn't really start until I get there and I get set up and I have the jacks down. This thing, the moment the moment we leave the driveway, Martha, we're camping. You know, well, camping, that's, that's almost an insult to this thing, but... You get the point as your adventure begins right away. You maintain easy, full access to bedroom, bathroom, everything. Let me step outside here for you. Power stab. I'm going to just take a quick cruise around the outside. I don't want to I want to kill the power here so I don't forget about the coach batteries and house batteries and all that. And again, I just thank you guys for tuning in. Um, appreciate you, uh, all the... Man, we had a record year last year, and we we're already setting records this year. It's just not going to stop. Um, you know, beautiful coaches like this are a big part why. Uh, the biggest difference, though, is I think the extent of effort and time and investment we make into our customers like yourselves. I don't care where you live. You know, if, if you find this video useful, all I ask is an opportunity to earn your business here at my family's dealership. Um, you know, we're not a big chain store. We are truly a family-run <laughs> dealership. Um, I'm one of the sons. I, I do our online advertising. My brother's our service director. Obviously, Dad runs the place. He's in the place every day. For the longest time, my wife was actually our title clerk, but uh, thankfully, we've reached a point where she can stay at home and we get to raise our own kid. I'm very blessed and very fortunate in that regard, and I have to thank folks like you for being able to help us make that happen. So, literally, from my family to yours, thanks so much for tuning in, and really look forward to meeting you guys. Look forward to the opportunity. So, take care. Stay safe. Have fun, and happy camping, everyone.